You finished playing basketball? <laughs> well, it seems this nest has survived the winter. I think it's a nest. I put a picture up last fall. I'm thinking it was a bird's nest. Somebody said maybe it's a squirrel's little habitat. I don't know. Oh, there comes the car. So I'm right beside the road. Look at this side up here. It's kind of like maybe it was used for something. Doesn't seem to be anything in there now. You smell anything, Ben? Where'd you go? <laughs> Just out the other side, eh? Something was going through there, maybe just bunnies in the run. Look at this little clear area here. And it even looks like there's branches laid out around the circle. <laughs> Are there witches here, Ben? Doing their thing? Are you listening to me? They're trying to poke your eye out. <laughs> Look at the clearing. Look who come out to see us. The jungle cat himself, Jeff. Hi. Well, I don't know. I'm just walking around the woods. What are you doing? Okay. Keep us uh keep us informed. Hey Ben! Hello there! Hey, it's a Monday. I just having uh Watching the baseball game at 0-0. Uh, I hope I don't have a claim against me because I'm playing baseball sounds in the background like I did the other day for that song. I think what I did was I didn't click off the monetization thing and then uh, the song from the radio got heard and a claim it made about it. As soon as I heard that, I clicked off the monetization and I think it's all tickety-boo now. So let's switch switching to that. San Jose hopefully wins tonight over uh, Pittsburgh. Anyway, I was laying around, thought I'd, uh, I fixed some stuff in the truck today, some auto body stuff, just some light sanding and painting and stuff, little spots. Anyway, I thought I'd have a drink. I'll use my Royal Canadian Ragoons hat badge, little, I don't know what that would be, uh, it's either a pork glass or a sherry glass, with water in it. So we'll put some Crown Royal, Crown Royal Maple. Blah. In it. Canadian. Some Jack Daniels. This is the Tennessee Fire stuff, so it's cinnamon flavored. USA. Ah, tried to break something. We'll put a splash of gin in there, which is kind of a UK kind of a thing. Yeah. And top it all up. It's almost all the same color. Yeah. Top it up with some brandy. No, I shouldn't say top it up, but another quarter ounce or something like that. Uh, we'll put some lime juice in there. I suppose this could be England too. Yeah. Their nickname is Limeys because they used to eat a lot of limes to the sailors to keep them getting scurvy. Scurvy. And we'll have a grind of sea salt. Represent the sea and the sea water, clamato, and tomato juice. Tomato juice represents, of course, blood.
And there it is. The tomato juice kind of sunk down there. Anyway, down the hatch. <coughs> Should swallow before you do it. <laughs> That was interesting. And not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Of course, I'm talking about, and I'll name this, uh, 6th of June. 6th of June? Or 6-6-44? Of course you know what I'm talking about. It's D-Day anniversary. 72 years ago. <laughs> 6th of June, 1944. Of course, the main players were Canada with a division, two divisions from the United Kingdom and two divisions from the United States of America, landing on French soil in Normandy. And, of course, there was also somebody else there, too, so... I shot a Jägermeister for the unfortunate Germans that were there, too. There, so that wasn't that actually bad, actually. It was, uh, you could taste the lime and the cinnamon and the maple. Uh, there wasn't as much tomato juice to make it make it. Kind of mellowed it out a little. So that's my 6th of June. So I'll try to have that uh, every year now as a celebration. And to remember the guys that fought and died that day, the guys that fought and survived that day, the guys that survived the war, and the greatest generation, that's what they call them, and they were. And they deserve our uh, remembrance and our gratitude forever. So thanks for dropping by. It's Chris. Oh. Peace.